This is a message to all my supporters of this podcast. I'm introducing a new supporters program. You can contribute a small amount as a one-off payment to show your love for this podcast. Thank you in advance for all your contributions. Hi, my name is Mark Hayward. I am uh, I am a corporate employee with an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, here are some of my thoughts, ideas, and comments. And uh, this is the Absolute Business Mindset podcast. So I'm going to talk today about something which I learned about a very long time ago, quite right early in the start of my career. I was applying for some sales jobs and uh, um, none of them really turned into fruition. But one of the pieces of advice that was given to me was regarding um, being able to approach situations with the who, what, how, when and why. Now, I actually picked this up when I started to start working with my mentor as well. He would go to situations and say, do an assessment on these following things, so these five things. And it really gave me a focus, and it was a really good uh, thought process. So I thought I'd give it as a technique for you to be able to think about and be able to develop. So, um, so what is the purpose of it? What well, well, the purpose of it is doing a three sixty view of the problem, the, the project, the the solution, whatever it is you need to do the analysis on. And it's important to understand first one is who so who are the stakeholders who are the participants who are the people involved in it um, are you involved in it or oh, is your boss involved in it is it a new stakeholder is it a client so it's important for you to understand what the market is who are the people that are involved in it so um, critically important to be able to do that analysis you need to know what the key players you can't make any decisions if you don't know who the key players are in that uh, situation, project, whatever it is. So, um, so it's always important to think about those key stakeholders. And, and if you do like a mind map or with, by doing this, you would get to very quickly um, on who the people are. But then the, that next step further is who the critical people are to deliver your product or service. That's when it starts getting interesting. So, um, always important to think about who and then prioritize those people into the who are the most important people so then you've got to think about the what so so the questions that come from this is what do you need to do uh what is required um you, you need to understand the practicalities of of the steps that need to be done um to be able to 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 deliver that product or service, so let's just say you're, you're releasing a product, so you've worked out all the who. So there's clients, there's stakeholders, there's people involved on it, with colleagues and peers, whatever, whatever. And then you want to decide how what you want to deliver. So if you're going to deliver a technology solution, you need to understand every facet of that product. So what what is it? Um, so you need to think about that. Incredibly important to to think about the what because you need to work out all the things that are critical for you on to being able to deliver uh, what you want for the product or service. So important to think about the what, and then the the how. So how do you achieve that? Is it over a six month period, a two week period, a year period? Um, how are you going to deliver that? And what sort of time frames? So how how you actually going to are you going to de- delegate to people? Are you going to do it all yourself? Are you going to employ people? Are you going to big borrow and steal people to help you out? So it's important to work out how you're going to do it because without that how you then you got no idea. The, the, the steps that you need to take to be able to deliver your products or service so the how is important so don't underestimate the how because that that's that's what you need to do and that's who you need to do so you see this is like building blocks so you've worked out who needs to be involved you found out what needs to be done and now you're working out how it needs to be done does that mean you need a 
contract for six months, a VA, a PA, or to be able to deliver that? Do you need an admin assistant? Do you, you can do it all on your own. How exactly are you going to achieve your goal? So critically important, really interesting thought when you're trying to work out how to break that down into how you're going to be able to do it. What is a little bit more strategic? Uh, what you need to deliver from a high level, the how is really breaking it down into your steps in, in, to be able to deliver the what. And then the fourth one is when. So you need to work out when it needs to be done. Is there a deadline because of a client's giving you a deadline? Is there um, is there no deadline? Um, is it you driving that deadline? Is it a client? Is it a customer? Whatever it is. So when is is, is obviously could impact your how you're going to do it. So if you need to deliver something in 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 six months and it's twelve months worth of work, then you might need to hire a couple of people to. Be able to deliver that so so the win can be a major factor and the win can be broken down into milestones so you work out the milestones that you need to achieve and then when they need to be done so often the win might be six months but you then have to then work out on a project plan um when each step needs to be done so you're working on the how and then you then work out when the how things need to be done so again we're just building it up slowly on getting a 360 view and then the the last one is why and you might think oh, i don't need to do this but this is this is kind of important from a sort of high level point of view why are you trying to do this is it for a career is it for a business is it for um for, for any other reasons that is often thought as the not the important one but i would argue that if it's part of your six month goals your 12 month goals your your mantra whatever it is that you're so we're building on other things that we've talked about the why is important because that will drive you because if you if the reason is that you want to deliver it because of monetary value or self-esteem or just proving that you can do it the why is important so um the why is the driving factor of all this all these other ones are built on each other and this is kind of like looping back to the start or why you're trying to do this so um it's a really interesting uh thought process and i would advise uh, you all to be able to think about that um because i don't think enough people think in that sort of way um so i would say most people should think in that analysis uh, to be able to deliver your projects your services your, your, your whatever you're trying to deliver okay i'm going to leave it there please can you leave me a review on itunes um if you download from uh from apple uh please do leave me a review that'd be really appreciated um i've got my twitter account which is mark hayward 169 uh you've got some of my thoughts ideas comments on there so please uh, link in with my twitter account i've got a website which is called absolutebusinessmindset.com please look there for some coaching and some my podcasts and a few extra services um uh that is coming very very soon um if you could subscribe to my podcast if you've liked what you've heard then please subscribe to you get it every every sunday and thursday i release content so please check out that and the last thing is if you've enjoyed this podcast or a couple of these podcasts tell someone about it tell a friend tell a colleague to a family member really appreciate you spreading the word um, of how i am helping or hopefully trying to help you uh, through your uh, through your business and through your career so please by all means tell a friend okay thank you very much News, laws, and regulations are changing by the day. We get it. It's hard to stay on top of it all. That's why ADP is here to guide you with up-to-the-minute compliance expertise to help you navigate these complex times so you can pay your people accurately and on time, regardless of changes in legislation. When you rely on us for payroll and HR, you're trusting us to help you take care of your people. It's what we've been doing for over 70 years, and that's not about to change. ADP, HR talent, time, benefits, and payroll, informed by data and designed for people.